You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your weekly B&B prediction edition. We've got three hot predictions, all based on recent episodes, not spoilers, because there are no official spoilers for next week because Bold is playing petty games with the viewers. We've got a prediction for Eric and Ridge, one for Donna and Ridge, and one for Donna and Eric. We're ready to dig in, but first, please click subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's talk. So... Our first prediction ties into the scenes from Friday's show where Susan Flannery talked to Eric Forster as Stephanie Forster, right, back from the dead or in a heavenly capacity, I guess, and told him he's home and he's safe and a few more things. Now, I will say right off the bat that there are, again, no new spoilers for the week ahead. They've not released any. They are playing this close to the vest. And as far as I'm concerned, they're messing with fans. There are literally no listings on any of the U.S. or Canadian cable guides. They are trying to manipulating y'all into thinking Eric died because of the lack of spoilers, except there actually are. There are some photos that have leaked out from next week. I can't show them to you, but they clearly show everyone is still at the hospital. That would not really be the case if he died on Friday, first of all. Plus, we have a B&B casting spoiler of another doctor working on his case on Wednesday the 20th. So no, Eric is not dead. And I, I don't expect him to die. I expect him to wake up and be annoyed because they seem to be re- doing many of the beats of Eric's 2008 coma plot when he was mad at Ridge for unplugging him. And this time, Eric should be mad because Ridge was going to unplug him without letting the rest of the family say goodbye and without even fully considering this miracle experimental cure that Finn offered. I, I hope Eric kicks his bearded butt right out of Forster Creations after this. But for now, I'd settle for a brisk, how dare you? aimed at Stephanie's son. So I think that Eric will survive, but he's going to be mad at Ridge again. (laughs) All right. Our second prediction is about the fallout that Ridge Forster will face from Donna Logan, his fiance's sister. Ridge, to my eyeballs, was so selfish, so thoughtless, and so high-handed at the hospital. Yes, he has Eric's medical power of attorney, and he did have the legal right to unplug his dad when he wanted, but he really, really bungled things. First of all, he should have called in the rest of the family. And then he should have told them about Finn's treatment possibility. Then he should have invited discussions, Q&A, and then made the decision. Or at the very damned least, call the family so they can come up and say goodbye while Eric Forster was still breathing and before Ridge tried to personally unplug the respirator. I mean, he didn't literally try to unplug it from the wall himself, but he might as well have done. So I absolutely think that Donna Logan really did no better than Ridge what Eric wanted because Eric never, not even once, discussed this illness with Ridge. So his son literally had no idea where Eric's head was out. Ridge was making assumptions based on his past, based on his own personal biases, and based solely on his opinion. He totally dismissed Donna Logan. And yeah, sure, she's a blonde toothpick with big boobs and cotton candy between her ears, but she loves her honey bear. That is for certain. And she was supporting Eric throughout this long illness and you know before anybody else knew he was sick even before RJ knew he was sick so yeah I fully expect Donna to be angry at Ridge and to hold a grudge and I'm here for it I hope she rips him a new one and Honestly, she should rip him a new one, live or die, but definitely if he lives, she should be ripping him apart. And of course, Brooke Logan, as usual, will excuse and enable his bad behavior. So I kind of hope the grudge spills over onto Brooke too, and Donna tells her where to stick it. I think that would be a lot of fun to kind of watch a little Logan Civil War and Brooke being stuck between Ridge's bad behavior and her sister. All right, our third and final prediction is about what is next for Eric Forster and Donna Logan. This is based on my strong assumption, of course, that Eric is not dying. If he did die on Friday when Stephanie showed up in the light, I feel like they would have actually released spoilers. They would have been doom and gloom spoilers, things like the Forsters gather to comfort each other after their loss, or gloomy plans overshadow Christmas as the Forsters and Logans grieve. Those are the kind of spoilers that B&B would have given us if Eric actually died. So stuff like that. Instead, 
instead, we have crickets, a lot of crickets. And that's, to me, the sure sign that Eric ain't dead. So when he wakes, what's next? It'll be a new year and a new lease on life as we head into 2024. And I expect that Eric will not want to waste any time. Of course, I really hope the first thing on his to-do list is to fire Ridge from his co-CEO job. And then then I think Eric should focus on his personal life, right? Donna Logan has been a rock for him throughout this ordeal. She's fought for him to get the treatment from Finn while Ridge was trying to unplug him from the wall. I expect if Eric ever doubted Ditsy Donna's love, this should put any concerns to rest. So I do think Eric Forster might make Donna his wife after they ring in 2024 at the new year, whether he's at home by then or still in the hospital. And I certainly hope that the next thing that Eric Forster does is change his will and give Donna his medical power of attorney. Now, I'm not sure he should give her his Forster shares because the last time he gave her shares, remember, she got involved with Bill Spencer and sold them to him and it was a whole mess. And then the family finally got them back. So maybe not the shares, but definitely, definitely give Donna his medical power of attorney and cut Ridge out of the will altogether. I think Ridge can go kick rocks. That's my feeling after his behavior this past week. And I, I've seen in the comments that a lot of you say you agree with Ridge's outlook that he has the power of attorney. He knows what his dad wants. He didn't want his dad to suffer. I get all that. That's fine. But what's not fine is him not consulting any of his siblings, not letting the kids, the grandkids come to say goodbye. You know, even if it still was, we're going to unplug him. Why not let people say goodbye? I mean, that was just, to me, was just the worst of it. So, all right. Therefore, our third and final prediction, wedding bells for Eric and Donna, but we'll see. All right. That's it for our bold and the beautiful prediction edition. Please click subscribe if you haven't. And let me know what you think about these predictions. Agree or disagree and come back soon because we are here talking B&B seven days a week. And as always, this has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 